Hello guys, this is Steven, welcome to a new video. So yeah, today pick up video with this big box. So big, it don't even fit on the screen. Yeah. So uh, basically, I didn't buy anything. But lately, I have been a lot on eBay and I've seen an auction. This one. And now I, uh, I was like, oh my god, this could be really cool. But... You know, I wasn't really sure I was going to win, so I put the, um, the lowest bid possible on this item, on this package. And I was like, okay, um, that's all if I'm not going to win, but <laughs> it would, it would have been fun. And in the end, turns out, I won the auction. I won the, this auction at the minimum bid, which is stupid because you're going to see what's inside this box and uh, for the price, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, so I'm going to say it right now. I paid 45 euros for this box. So we're going to start the video with uh, the pretty bad thing, the things I don't really care and they are worth nothing. So first we have this demo disc for the Xbox 360. Um, yeah, I don't have an Xbox 360 so I, <laughs> I don't know what to do with it, but okay. We also have uh, a PlayStation 4 game, but it's FIFA 15, and I look on eBay, and this game is currently sold for 2 heroes, and even at 2 heroes, no one wants to buy it. So yeah, that's how bad uh, this game is. Uh, I mean bad. It's not a bad game, but it's a soccer game. And as you may know, uh, after a new year came and you have a new game, the older one is worth literally nothing. Even if technically it's so in some way the same game, but yeah. So this is not really good. And uh, this is like the, the funniest thing in this box. We have Battleship, so you may know it, uh, this is in fact a movie, a movie starring uh, Rihanna. So yeah, this is a movie, but because it's a still book, uh, the guy on eBay thought this was a video game of some kind. Why not? Why not? But don't worry, because things are getting better. Like, uh, okay, not, not that better, but here we have SingStar Puppets 4 for the PlayStation 2 without a uh, booklet. So yeah, this is worth nothing. <laughs> but don't worry, this box is really worth my money. Because we also have uh, Colin McRae Rally 2005 Platinum on the PlayStation 2. But... But let's be real, this one is complete with booklet and uh, the, the little, here we go, the little ad for for whatever they have. And also the disc is in perfect condition. So, you know, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. And also we have this uh, PlayStation 2 official silver memory card. So, you know, things are getting a bit better. But uh, don't worry because this is getting way, way, way better because we have... PSP games, oh yeah, so we have uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 5, oh, okay, uh, PRS Pro Evolution Soccer uh, 2009, <clears throat> yeah, things are getting better, oh, Wipeout, yeah, Wipeout Pure, and uh, Virtua Tennis, oh yeah, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, awesome. So, uh, yeah, not that better, <laughs> because, in fact, uh, there is no wipeout, but instead you have a Metal Gear Solid UMD. So, this is a good game. This uh, is, um, like, a good surprise, because it's a good game, but what I'm going to do with a box and with a manual if I don't have a game? It's, it's, yeah, you know. And here, it's not Virtua Tennis, but in fact, it's Burnout Legends. So it's the same, it's a really good game, but what I'm going to do with the box? It, it's not Burnout Box. I mean, this game is in loose condition because it don't have box, and this game is just a box, so... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with, with all those things, because I don't like soccer, and... Yeah, I mean, in the end, the only thing cool in those games... It's the Grand Theft Auto, but it's not even complete. 
it, because you have a manual, it's cool, you have a warranty card or something, but you don't have the poster with the map, so it's not complete. <sighs> so I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my god, are you sure this box was worth your money? Yeah. Yeah, because it's not over, guys. It's not over. Because we have a PSP. Yeah, we have an actual PSP. And so it came so it came with this little case. Pretty cool. And we have, as you can see, we have the PSP. And as you can see, I think the screen is really clean. I haven't cleaned it yet. It, it came like that. So yeah, no scratch, no nothing. Yeah, pretty good condition. Everything is here, really good condition. And it came with a memory card, you know, the, so this is the regular one, it's the 32 megabyte uh, Sony PSP one. Okay, my, my camera don't want to focus, but it's the official one. And also, we have a little surprise, we have a UMD inside, but sadly it's uh, pretty shit, but it's a free game, but in fact the game inside is FIFA. So yeah, FIFA 2009, I think. So yeah, not that great, not that great. But guys, it's still not over. I swear, this is worth the money because uh, the better for the end. We got, we got three PSP games. And those games, let me tell you, those games are worth the money I spent. I mean... 45 euros, it's too much for all this stuff. But with those free PlayStation Vita games, it's worth it. So first, we have Virtua Tennis 4. So Virtua Tennis 4 was a launch title, and this game is became a bit expensive. This game cost around 15-20 uh, euros. Because, yeah, this was a launch title, but it was the launch title no one cares about. People wanted uh, games like Uncharted, not Virtua Tennis. So this game is pretty rare, I guess. So, yeah, around 15, 20 euros for this one. Then we have Formula 1 2011, and this is the same. This is a game that was early in the life of a PlayStation Vita, and I guess it didn't sell well at all. And because of that, the game became pretty rare nowadays, and this game can be found on eBay around 20 euros. So yeah, basically... We are around 35 or 40 euros with only those two games. So, yeah, I, I told you it was worth it. And then we have the best one, this game. And this game is Jonah Lomu Rugby Challenge. And this game saved everything. Because this game, ladies and gentlemen, this game is worth around 40 45 euros yeah so why is this game worth so much money at the moment well i have some ideas first it's a rugby game so i guess no one care about it back in the day and so because no one cared about it now it's a rare game because not a lot of copies has been sold yeah and the second one i think this game is a pal only game i think this game has only been released in europe so i guess uh people living in Uni united states have has imported a lot and because all the copies has been sent out to united states there is less copy left here in Europe, and because of that, the price is rising a lot. And so, yeah, this game now can be found around 30, 35 euros. So, yeah, basically, this package, this, this big box, uh, this bulk, wasn't really worth the money, but when you just take those three games plus everything else, I guess we can say this was worth 35 euros. I mean, 35 euros is already a good price for the free PlayStation Vita games at the moment, so yeah, 
it's basically like I, I paid the I buy the free PS Vita games and I got all of this for free basically. So yeah, and I finally got back a PSP because yeah, I got a PSP back in the day, but I have never bought one again. So yeah, it's my second PSP, and uh, I don't know. I want. I think I want to collect for the PSP now. So yeah, that's all I got in this auction that I won for 45 heroes on eBay. So what do you think, guys? Was it worth the money or not? Well, if you want, you can tell me your answer in the comment section. I personally think it was worth the money just for the Vita games and... Well, it's pretty cool to have a PSP and stuff, so yeah, pretty nice. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And well, see you next time.